In the realm of humanity, we most often define ourselves and other men by what we do or by what they do. We might say, for example, see that guy over there, he's a doctor or I'm an attorney. And not only do we define ourselves by what we do, but in the process, we actually are establishing value based on defining ourselves by what we do. For example, somebody might say, well, I'm just a housewife or I'm just a janitor. Do you see how we use language to do that? The more important our doing, then the more important we are. And the less important our doing, at least in our culture, then the less important we are. What a tragedy that is, my friends, for people to wake up and live every day in accordance with what they do. God makes it very clear in his word that our true identity is found not in our behavior, but in our birth. I have little kids. They have dark hair, dark eyes because they were born into the Freedman family. And by being birthed into our family, they became identified as freedmen. It's the same way in this biblical and spiritual realm. In fact, there are really only two identities in the world. There are those who have been born in Adam and therefore born sinners, and those who have been born again in Christ and therefore now saints. If you have been born again, if you've put your faith in Jesus Christ, then you are a child of of God. That is your true identity. And that transforms how I define myself. I might say then, well, I'm a man, I'm a child of God who does pastoring. Another man might say, I'm a child of God who does doctoring, or I'm a woman, a child of God who does housewifing. Get the idea? You say, well, then where does the value come in? Value in the realm of humanity, my friends, is determined by the price someone is willing to pay for something. If I take this pen right here and I tell you that it's worth a million dollars and I try to sell that pen for a million dollars, but nobody ever buys it, it in actuality is not worth a million dollars because no one's willing to pay that price. So I offer it to the highest bidder and somebody offers me $5 for this pen. Now we have determined the value of the pen. The value was determined by the price someone was willing to pay to possess that pen. My friends, God determined that the price of your redemption was the infinite valued blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in 1 Peter, it is of immeasurable worth. So how much are you worth? You're a child of God and you are worth infinite value. That is how you should define yourself, my friends, because that is how God defines you. We're instant, interesting, we find these, these two concepts of how we define people in the scripture. In the three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they record the call of a man named Matthew or Levi when Jesus made him an apostle. The other three Gospel writers all define him as a tax collector. When Matthew, however, wrote his own Gospel, having met and embraced Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, Matthew told a very different story. He wrote these words. He said, and Jesus saw a man. He refused to identify himself according to what he did or what he had done, but according to who he was. Jesus, my friends, when he looked at Levi, did not see a tax collector. He saw a man who did not yet know who he was, but he was a man who was going to find out who he was and it was going to radically alter his life when he became a child of God worth infinite value. And so it is with you. You know, sometimes when I look at Father's word and we see truths like this, all I can say is, wow. And I hope you're saying, wow, with me. God bless you.